Hi, it's Dave Robison with the Cisco Companies, and what we're looking at now is when to turn cows in to graze your Promax Brown Midrib Hybrid Sudan grass. You can see in this field, this had been once uh, mechanically harvested. It's now regrown. It's here in the end of July, and we're somewhere around a 30-inch average on our uh, on our plants here. This is the ideal planting height, uh, or excuse me, the ideal harvesting height when we're going to come back in and graze. The nice thing about the uh, Promax. This is very, very leafy, very fine stems. Uh, it just works out extremely well because the cattle will eat these. And again, very fine stems that are very succulent. We had some forage samples come back just in the last few days that came back with Promax, a little bit taller than this, at almost 22% protein. So nearly dairy quality hay. Did not get a relative feed value on that, but excellent ADF and NDF numbers on that. But again, just the perfect. Uh, beginning height for grazing on Promax uh, brown midrib hybrid Sudan grass. If you'll pan in here real closely on this, we'll see that uh, on these leaves, the uh, the rib on these leaves is not brown. The the leaves is more of a milky color. On Promax, the milky color is going to show that it is uh, the brown midrib. Uh, it's a brown midrib 12 trait, which works extremely well here in the Sudan grass. But it's a milkier uh, uh, vein instead of a dark brown vein like we would see in another uh, brown midrib products, products, especially the brown midrib sorghum sedan grass. So again, perfect grazing height, beautiful crop. You can see as he pans out over the edge here uh, the difference between fertilized and non-fertilized. Once again, the advantage of fertilization, uh, not only for feed value, but also for tonnage. Uh, it makes a tremendous difference of how much tonnage we can get off of here. In fact, I'll go ahead and, and uh, walk on over to this section that we are uh, where it was not fertilized and uh, see what our grazing height is here. Uh, we're going to find it considerably shorter and it's going to average somewhere around, uh, oh, let's say 18 or 19 inches tall. So a good 10 inches shorter just because of the lack of fertility. And we're starting to see some other leaf diseases here too which typically we wouldn't see on a healthier plant. I don't know if we can uh, pan in and see the uh, uh, stripes here on the leaves. Uh, not the brown midrib, but the actual stripes showing some leaf diseases. Uh, this is because the plants are not as healthy as we would like for them to be. And uh, so with uh, good fertility, uh, we would see less of this. The quality on this product over here won't be uh, nearly as good as the quality where we've had the good fertility. So again, Promax Brown Midrib Sudan Grass, and we're looking at uh, grazing height here in July.